Yo, what's up guys? I'm Hargon. Welcome back to episode 49 of this Pokemon Voltfight 2 Egglock Challenge. In the last episode, we started going through Victory Road, and we got screwed over. If you didn't see it, spoiler alert, go watch the last episode. Right now, we lost a freaking Pokemon in the last episode in Victory Road, which is the worst place you can lose a Pokemon, honestly, in my opinion. But, we also got a new member to our team. I'm, just, I'm not going to do a quick uh, full team recap. I'm just going to introduce you to our newest member to our team. The newly evolved Infernape now. Not a Chimchar, an Infernape now. Goku, SSG Goku. The Infernape level 75. Holding the Expert Belt. Adamant Nature with Iron Fist ability to boost up that Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. He also knows Flare Blitz and Close Combat. He's putting in the work. And between this episode and last episode, man. I trained up to level 75 to for all my Pokemon because... Man, we, oh, these trainers are just all insane. I accidentally battled these two people uh, off of cam while I was training up and all that stuff. But man, these trainers aren't playing around. I just decided to train my Pokemon even higher to level 75. And now we're going to keep on getting... See if we can get on through Victory Road. So the plan for today is to battle even more trainers on Victory Road and see if we can make it to the end. That is the plan. That is the goal for this whole episode right here. So we're going to try doing that right now. And I'm going to try avoiding that battle. I want to get through. I'm going to try. I just want to speed run through this whole entire uh, Victory Road now. Because I don't want to waste another episode on Victory Road. Because we really didn't get much done last time on Victory Road. Because we, we got to pretty much the halfway point because that doctor was there. We lost the Pokemon on the battle right after that. Dang, this guy has a full team of six. Jeez. But yeah, we got a, we lost a Pokemon right after that battle. Went back to the PC to get another Pokemon on our team. And then hatched the eggs for the rest of that episode. So it was... Hopefully we can get some more stuff done in this episode now. But uh, So we got a Drought Ninetales going on around here. I'm not about that life. So I'm going to fake out Earthquake combo this Ninetales the heck on out of here. But a full team of six, man, that's pretty good and crazy, not gonna lie. Jeez, man, no wonder why. Th th these Victory Road people, man. These Victory Road battles are just, like, I swear, they're like competitive battles now. Like, the rest, everything that isn't in Victory Road was just, like, pretty easy. But now that I'm in Victory Road, it's like, it's like I have to take care of this, like, in a competitive battle mindset. So I kind of had to turn it on now. <laughs> Uh, cuz I'm I don't want to lose another Pokemon man losing Pokemon on victory road is the worst cuz it's the last time You can replace your Pokemon, but you have to train up to the highest level before you go inside the Pokemon league And it's just not fun. Man. It's just not fun But so far so good. I'm like what is it six levels above these guys? Yeah, cuz there's level 68s, but usually we've seen level 70s in this but so I don't know I don't know how this is gonna turn out But I think level 75 is the best bet to for victory road in these guys have been putting in the finest of work. I'm gonna just stay in with Venusaur. Um, the sun is still up, so my this, so my fire punch is gonna get uh, boosted. In the, oh wait, no. Oh yeah, it should be boosted, right? Yeah. Oh, Venusaur gets chlorophyll. I can live it. I can live it. It's not stab. Okay. All right. Good. There we go. There we go. It's not stab. But I forgot Venusaur gets chlorophyll. But hold up. Is this like a sun team kind of thing? Is this a competitive Sun team right here that I'm battling? Because we got Venusaur with Chlorophyll. We got the Drought Ninetales to set up. I think we're facing... I think we're facing a Drought team right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, so Salamence is coming out. Uh, I, oh, man. I don't think Thunder Punch can do it. You don't know. No, I should be able to outspeed the Salamence, right? Just stay in and Thunder Punch this guy. Oh, no, Intimidate. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, so what he's going to use? Uh, Obviously, he sent out the Salamence for a reason. So I'm going to switch down to Harmony because Harmony has Thunderbolt and I'm not going to... And it, um, I should have switched into Harmony first because I forgot Salamence has Thunderbolt. Or Salamence has Intimidate. Oh, no. No, screw your freaking Earthquakes, man. Screw your... Oh, that was a crit. Well, shoot. Screw your freaking Thunderbolts. Okay, so he might use Outrage now since he's not going to use Earthquake. Uh, So I'm going to go ahead and heal up my Harmony up all the way just to see if I can take a... Just to see how well I can take an Outrage. Hopefully, I can take it decently. Please. Yep, it's predicted that Outrage. I'm, all, I'm, in, I'm in the competitive mindset right now. I'm trying to out-predict and not let him... Not let him... Not let up. Just not let up at all. Alright, so Harmony can take at least another one of those as long as he doesn't get the C word. 
I could go for the Skull and try getting the burn on it. But I think it's not worth it because I think Thunderbolt will 2 KO this uh, Salamence. So it's not really worth it. It's not really worth it at this point. Right? Okay, never mind. Apparently he uh, is only neutral against Thunder or electric type attacks. Okay, so I can do two things here. I can either heal up all the way or go for the Psychic because Psychic is stab and it'll do more damage against Salamence. But I think I'd rather... Uh... Has he even got confused yet? Like, come on. He's been using Outrage so many times. He's not even confused yet. But I'm going to go ahead and use Hyper Potions cause, so I can have more HP after I kill off the Salamence in the next turn. Yeah, he's been using out. This is fourth outrage right here. How has he not gotten confused yet? There we go. There we go. Jeez. Or was that the third turn? I don't know. <laughs> I've been. I'm just like so zoned in right now. Okay. Okay. I'm so. I'm so zoned in on what I'm gonna be doing next for the next turn. I'm trying to get ahead of this guy like chess. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. The psychic kills it off. But I have green HP versus yellow HP now. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, so two Pokemon down, four more to go. Or was it three? It was a Volcarona. Uh, Volcarona, I have strength on Pico, so... And I don't think Volcarona can do anything that can hurt me. Because it has, what is it, Flamethrower, Quiver Dance, because I use a... Yeah, I used a Volcarona before, so it had, my head Volcarona had Quiver Dance, uh, Bug Buzz, Flamethrower, and something else. I forgot what else, but... I don't think he has anything good against my Pico. Yeah, it just goes for the Fire Blast. So I should be able to live that decently, even in the Drought. Because Pico's pretty bulky, right? Not enough. Oh, that burn ruined the whole thing. That burn literally ruined it. I would have one-shot this Volcarona if it wasn't for that burn. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? I'm going to go ahead and go for the Full Restore. Pray that he misses a fire blast or something. Oh man, that ruined the whole plan. Okay, so I got options though. I got options. I could hope that he doesn't. I think that was max damage fire blast. There's no way. Oh my gosh, two burns in it. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. That's BS. That is pure BS right there. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing this game. I'm not going to be burned. Pico is not going to be burned. I hope you miss your Fire Blast. You better miss your Fire Blast. If you got two burns in a row, I deserve some luck as well. Like, come on, man. This victory road is out to get me, man. Finally. Thank you. Jeez. Now let's strength this Volcarona the heck on out of here. That's all I need. I swear if he gets another burn, I'm going to be done with this game. This game is just getting to me. Victory road is just... Okay, thank you. Victory Road is just trash, man. Victory Road just has all the luck against me, man. Oh, this is a struggle, man. This is the struggle. <laughs> I can do it, though. I gotta believe. Pick up the Charizard. Okay, no. Charizard has Focus Blast. It I definitely has it. That's why he's sending him out. Uh, he also has Air Slash, so no Goku. He doesn't have anything against Harmony, so I, I can go in and uh, Thunderbolt the Charizard then. So I'm going to do that. Man. I don't know why I'm not using Flipper against any of these guys. Oh no, because we're in Drought. The Drought will screw me over. Alright, let's go for the Thunderbolt and see how much that's going to do against this Cherry Zard. I would Scald, but Scald will not do anything. And if I don't get the burn, it's not really worth it. And oh, man. Oh, miss your Blast Burn too. That, that Blast Burn might have actually killed me, because that Blast, Blast Burn is like the, one of the best high attacking fire moves in the game. Oh, that's actually scary. I'll use a full restore though. Oh heck no. <laughs> oh heck no. Not today, fool. I'm going to go ahead and use Thunderbolt on this turn. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Scald on the next turn, just because... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to use Scald on the next turn just to... Oh, never mind. Solar, Be Solar Power is going to kill off this Charizard. He has solar power. Dang. Alright, get your butt out of here. I don't want to talk to you ever again in my life. Alright, let's keep on going. Up the mountain. And I'm pretty sure this is the right way because... Uh, one thing I remember in the Unova region is that... The Pokemon League was in the very top of the... Uh, 
whatchamacallit, it was in the very top of the game, or very top of the mountain, so, and if, if we want to go, keep on going, oh, Ray Candy, I'll take, I'll save that, actually, but yeah, so the, what was I saying, yeah, the Pokemon League is in the very top of the mountain, that's all I remember in the Lunova region, so, if we're go as long as we're going up the mountain, that tells me it's going the right way, oh, I totally <laughs> forgot that I didn't battle that person yet, all right, so let me go back to the doctor real quick and heal up before I go take on that next trainer that I saw in the grass right there. Get owner's joy, heal me up all the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll, I'll be here all day. Thank you. All right, so let's keep on going. These battles, those battles were actually pretty hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> those, it wasn't a double battle. I took them out separately. Oh, shoot, go, go, go. Yeah, I took them out separately, so they weren't as hard. But uh, if they were a double battle, dang, I couldn't imagine, because <laughs> they had some pretty crazy, uh, whatchamacallit, they had some pretty crazy uh, movesets. Alright, so there we go, we're gonna have to battle this person right here to progress, keep on going, progressing up the mountain, climbing the tallest mountain for Victory Road, man. This Victory Road is just gonna kill me, it's so stressful, guys, you, have, you guys have no idea how stressful this Victory Road is, it's actually insane. Oh, Bruce Lee versus Hitmonlee. Who is the superior Lee? I'm gonna say mine is because I'm faster and higher level. And because it's mine, of course. I trained it up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's not gonna be able to use his own fi uh, fake out. And I outspeed the Bruce Lee, so... Ha! Get out of here. You didn't even hurt me. Couldn't even touch me. Wipe him off. Wipe him off. <laughs> Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, so Hitmonchan now, uh, I think it's safe to go into Harmony and uh, Psychic because Harmony pretty much outspeeds all these guys, I'm pretty sure. And Psychic will pretty much one-shot because it's stabbed from a Mew. From a Mew. There's no way that he's going to live. Hitmonchan looks mad, dang. <laughs> Look at his eyes, he just looks so mad like something just bothered him today. Come on. Yeah, one-shot, boy. Get out of here. Good thing I trained him up to level 75 because... That these levels actually the levels actually make a difference this high up now it's pretty insane <laughs> it's so stressful it's so stressful man this victory road has been so stressful with that once I saw that heat more just get once I saw heat more just get bodied man that made me like really scared of this victory road like I'm not invincible at all still even with my levels high up I'm still not invincible at all and harmonies are high still put my level 76 now so that's a good sign for us Alright, so let's keep on going though. Got the max repels up. This looks like a hidden item. It is not. Okay. These have to be hidden items right here. Come on. Come on. No? Okay. Alright, so what is up here? Oh, these pillars actually look really familiar now. These pillars actually look really familiar. I think we're almost to the top of the... Okay, so that's another trainer, so I'm not gonna face as many... I'm not gonna face more trainers than necessary, but this actually looks like it's almost the top of the uh, Victory Road. There's a Dragon Fang. Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that, okay, okay! <laughs> and these lead inside the mountain going down the mountain, so I think this is... Can we avoid this battle? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? What does he want to do against me? Um... I'm gonna send out Goku. Goku up front seems like the best option. I really trust Goku because I know his... Okay, we can't avoid this. I know his power. Goku's power is the best. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh. One sec. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so I just check on something real quick. But uh, yeah, here we go. Going to battle this person with Goku up front and... Veteran Portia? Portia or Portia? Comes a Politoed. Does he have Drizzle? Politoed gets Drizzle. Oh, shoot. I think... Oh, I get it. I get it. Victory Road has become so much more stressful now. First, we faced a competitive drought team. And now I think we're facing a competitive rain team. The, I think I one-shot it with Thunder Punch, though. Iron Fist plus... Iron Fist boosted plus Expert Belt. I, th I, I call it one-shots. I'm calling it one-shots to Politoed. I'm not playing around. I, I believe Goku. Yeah, there we go. Whoo! Get your butt out of here, Politoed. Let's go, Goku. Let's go, Goku. But the only thing we have to worry about is, uh, whatchamacallit. 
We just gotta watch out for the swift swim in this. But Whimsicott? What's he wanna use Whimsicott for? I think even in the rain, I think a one flare blitz would kill off this Whimsicott. Oh, but he has stun for. I forgot he has Prankster. Well, I have my own Whimsicott. What am I thinking? So what am I thinking? Let's think. And I don't get paralyzed. Okay, good. So let's see what I'm thinking here. Whimsicott, my Whimsicott, of course, had Prankster ability. It had... It doesn't matter, he's gone. Now get one shot by the Flare Blitz. Goku in the rain. Even... He's just still savage like that. God dang. All right, here comes Ludicolo. Ludicolo. What are Ludicolo's weaknesses? Let's check that out real quick. I lost my handy dandy uh, Pokedex app right here. Oh, I have it open already. Okay, Ludicolo. He's water and grass type, but I always forget what his weaknesses are. Damage taken. So he's weak against poison, bug, and flying type. So I can either go into Tarask or Harmony. I th huh. I'm gonna go into Tarask because uh, I think I think we can use Harmony. I don't want Harmony to take any damage because I think we could use him in, later in this battle because he has Thunderbolt. But Tarask, this is probably his only time to shine in this battle right here with Cross Poison. And I don't know what Ludicolo wants to do against me though. I'm gonna go for the Cross Poison. Okay, he goes for the Hydro Pump. That's kind of scary because it's in the rain. And he can't take those. Okay, he really can't take those. Okay. Well, we gotta switch out on somebody. Unless that cross poison can get the- Oh! He almost kills. So here's the bad part, okay? The bad part is... He's probably- He might full restore? Actually, I think he's gonna full restore, because we saw the last person use the full restore, so I'm gonna go and use my own hyper potion right here. And heal up my, uh, Tarask all the way. And then we'll start from square one. Yep, there's a four restore. All right, there we go. Gotta think, gotta think, gotta zone in, don't let up. All right. So this is a hyper potion. So now we're back to square one. So he's gonna use a uh, hyper potion. He has swift swim, so he's pretty much gonna, yeah, he, Ludicolo is gonna outspeed all of our Pokemon. So that's out of the question right now. That's out of the equation of outspeeding. So I gotta hope that cross poison can get the poison hacks or the crits. For sure, Ludicolo can't get the crits on me because I have battle armor. So we know that I'm living a hyper potion. Or I'm a hydro pump. But can I get the crit or a poison hacks? Either one will do. Come on, please, please, please. Yes! Get the heck on out of here, Ludicolo! Get your butt out of here! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So long, farewell. Come again some other day. Nice! So now we want- that's the only way we one-shot the Ludicolo right there. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, Kingdra. Okay, let's look up the Kingdra now. Kingdra. Water and Dragon type. His only weaknesses are... Dragon and Fairy. Oh, shoot, man. Shoot. Neither one- neither one I have. Don't have anything. So my- uh, my best bet is to fake out close combat the Kingdra. That's my best bet right now. Whew. I, uh, I could go into Pico and Curse, but Kingdra does get Dragon Dance. Or it does get like uh, Agility or... Uh, yeah, Agility or Double Team or anything like that. I learned from Wan and Emerald, <laughs> so I'm not gonna let it- I'm not gonna give it the chance to set up on me or anything like that. Go straight for the fake out and- oh man. I think a close combat will kill it off from this range actually. Let's- I'm gonna go for it. Screw your yawn. Screw your yawn, I'm going straight for the close combat. But the one bad part is that uh, Kingdra does outspeed me, so we gotta watch out for that. Okay, so can I close combat kill you? Yes! Ha! Oh, get the heck on out of here, boy! All right, how many how many Pokemon have we taken down so far? Gorbis. Last is this his last? I don't know if his last Pokemon or not. I would go into Goku, but he's paralyzed, so we don't, the only option we have is Harmony now. So let's see what Harmony can do against this Gorbis, and I 
I think this is his fourth or fifth Pokemon or something like that. Or is it? Yeah, this is his fifth Pokemon. Okay, let's go for the Thunderbolt then. Okay, this is a Hydro Pump. Can I take a Hydro Pump from Agoribus? Nope. That's a crit. That's a crit! What the f- Whoa, ho, ho. 10 HP! Oh my gosh! Get out of here, Gorbis! Get out of here! Oh. I'm tired of these crits, man! I'm telling you, I'm tired of these crits! Oh my gosh. Rotom Wash. That's definitely a Rotom Wash if it's in the rain. What's what's good against Rotom Wash? I'm gonna look that up right now. Oh my gosh. Gorbis was a shell smasher too, by the way. Gorbis, I remember because I swept and showed in a showdown battle with Gorbis before. I'm pretty sure that Gorbis has shell smash, but it went straight for the uh, hydro pump. Okay, so it's weak against ground and grass types. So that tells me I can go into uh, Bruce Lee. Yep, yeah, Bruce Lee is no. He had, why is this telling me ground type? Rotom has freaking a levitate. Oh, good thing I caught that. I fo I I forgot about that. <laughs> but I think I can still fake out close combat this Rotom like I did to the King Drug because uh, let me see Rotom stats actually. He has. Okay, his special defense and defense are the same, pretty much, so. Yeah, those are his highest stats, actually. But let's see how what Fake Out can do against this Rotom. I, I'm pretty sure I can live Hydro Pump, though, from this Rotom, because Bruce Lee has the highest, uh, whatchamacallit. If Fake Out did that much, I think Close Combat's gonna kill it. But yeah, uh, Bruce Lee has the highest special defense out of all, the, our whole team. And does it matter? It doesn't matter, he kills him off. Get the heck on out of here, fool. Screw your rain team. Almost killed Harmony. Oh, man. Bruce Lee's level 76 now. Jeez. Almost killed Harmony. That would have been so, so, oh, so bad. All right. So... What do we do here, then? Oh, there's another battle. Do I go back and heal up, or do I just use a hyper potion? Actually, it depends on how bad my team is. Nah, I, I need to heal up. Goku is peril? Oh, nah, nah, nah. I'm healing up. I gotta go back and heal, guys. Considering- Oh, I'm gonna have to, like, avoid all the battles I- That I didn't do. <laughs> and, uh, shoot. I think I could do it still. If I did it once, I could do it again. Right? That's how logic works, right? <laughs> okay, so there's one dude right here. Gotta wait for him to turn and then run around him. And the good thing is the doctor isn't that far away, actually. He's just, like, right outside of here. So it's not too far away, but... Definitely helps in the long run. Saves us a bunch of medication as well. Because you never know if we're going to be stuck in a battle or not for so long. Alright, and I really... I have a feeling we're so close to the end, but I hope... I don't know. I don't think we're going to get through Victory Road for this episode either, so... Man, we're going to take three episodes just for Victory... Oh, shoot. Just for Victory Road. That's actually insane. <laughs> this victory road is probably the hardest victory road of... Yeah, I have a feeling this victory road is the hardest of all games. That's a good question today, honestly. Which victory road do you think is the hardest? Alright, let's use another Max Repel. I think we only have like two more left, so we gotta make him count. And so yeah, this is where we left off. And there's one more battle here. Oh, I don't want to battle. I'm gonna put Bruce Lee up front because he has a fake out. He got the fake out. Alright, let's go. One last battle. This is going to be the last battle before I end off the episode, though. Alright, the people who pass by here have such different moods. It's fun to watch and even more fun to fight against them. Is it really? It's not fun for me anymore, man. <laughs> and he has a full team of six. Oh! And let me guess, this is a Sandstorm team, huh? Sandstorm team. But good thing Low Sweep should probably kill off this Tyranitar. If not, well, I could go for the close combat just to make sure that I kill this Tyranitar. But I'm going to go for the fake out just in case. Just in case. Honestly, low sweep is four times super effective. It should kill off. I don't want to waste too much close com I don't want to like use close combat too much. I want to save the PP. And I don't want to lower my defense, obviously. And yep, low sweep kills it off because it's four times super effective. Okay, first one down. Alright, so who do you got next? Garchomp. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. 
I'm gonna look up Garchomp's weaknesses just to make sure if his only weaknesses are just Dragon and Ice type. Uh, Garchomp. But I'm pretty sure if this is if there was a better time for Flipper to shine right now, it would be right now because it's Garchomp. Yep, only weaknesses are Ice and Dragon and Fairy, but that's not in this game yet. So I, I re I'm really afraid that Garchomp is gonna have Stone Edge. He he is. He's gonna have Stone Edge. Yeah, Drayano is gonna make him have Stone Edge, something like that. Oh man, Rock Slide. Flipper, please shine today for me. There's a Stone Edge. It's not Stab. Flipper, please. Please, please. Yes! Oh. Come on, Flipper, kill him. Kill him, it's four times super effective. Oh, let's go, Flipper! Whoa! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh man, Sandstorm Garchomp? No, no, that... That was bad news, Bears, man. I forgot about the Sandstorm. The Sandstorm could have killed him off even if he lived it. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, Cray Dilly, let's look up its weaknesses just to make sure. Just to make sure we got options. So we got... So Bug, Steel, Ice, and Fighting types are super effective against this guy. So let's switch. He has Grass. He's a Ground and Rock type. Ground and Rock type. So Rock type... Actually, no. He's a Grass and Rock type. I mean, um... I could go into Pico. No, no, no. What, what am I saying? I could go. Uh, let's do Bruce Lee. No, let's let's close combat with Goku. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. All right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this, Goku. Let's close combat this Cray Dilly. It should not have Sturdy. Let me check that actually. It has Suction Cups and Storm Dreams. So I'm gonna go in and go for, straight for the close combat. Screw yo, Cray Dilly. It's Expert Belt boosted stab. Should kill a Cray Dilly. Oh, let's go. That's right. Screw your rock types. What are your rock types to Goku and Bruce Lee? The fighting duo. The pure fighting duo right now. They're killing it, man. But Pop Leo did put in the work, though. All right, Excadrill. Oh, shoot. Excadrill in the Sandstorm is not fun. Ground and Steel type. What are your weaknesses? Water is four times, probably, right? No. Okay. Um... So he has fire, ground, fighting, and water weaknesses. I could stay in and go for the flare blitz, but actually he has sand rush, which let me see what sand rush does. Double speed during a sandstorm. Okay, so he's probably gonna have sand rush excadrill. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Bruce Lee. And fake out close combat this excadrill. But this Escadrille is going to outspeed me, so... Yeah, this Escadrille is going to outspeed my whole team, so... As long as he doesn't have the advantage against my Goku, I'm, I think it's better to have Bruce Lee up front to put in the work. Okay. So let's go for the close combat now. Because it's Stab, and let's do it. Yep. Okay, so that's Stab. He does outspeed me for sure. Can't... Okay, he lives it, and he can take a Sandstorm after that as well. But can close combat put in the work? Come on. Black belt. Stab. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Oh, this is so scary, man. This is so scary. One one wrong turn and it can go downhill so fast. Who's up next? Glyscore. Glyscore. We need Flipper. Hold up. Hold, oh, it's going to be a poison heal. It's going to be a poison heal Glyscore, isn't it? It's gonna definitely poison heal. Who can we go into? We can, as long, oh shoot, okay. Yeah, it's definitely poison heal. It has to be. So it's only, wa oh it has a water weakness and an ice weakness. Both are on flipper. We don't have anything, we don't have water or ice type moves on anybody else except flipper. Okay, so normal damage. Okay, so Glyscore gets X Scissor, Earthquake, Air Slash, and something else so harmony i was gonna send a har send out harmony but x's are no nah. can screw me up so bad
and he has he might have swords dance does he get fighting type moves like brick break or something let's see i'm gonna check it out he gets sky uppercut he literally bodies our whole team here's what we need to do we need to uh heal up i'm gonna heal up flipper right now i'm gonna heal up flipper while pico get, it gets sent out because literally we just need pico or we just need flipper to just get one move on glide score god dang it all right let's get out that hyper po oh no 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 let's go out that hyper potion and put it on flipper right there <laughs> oh nice nice oh that's actually really good for us so he has, he has protect okay so this is something that's good for us so he's not going to use protect right now we know that for a fact all right so he resists ground so rock type is regularly effective against glide score so that's good to know i still need to teach pico return i feel like it's a better move overall now i'm gonna go use curse see what he wants to do okay so he's gonna go for the earthquake so the good thing is he's a physical type attacker so that actually using curse wax uh is gonna benefit our pico really well this is actually be really good for us okay i think we could do this as long as he doesn't have like toxic or something i think we could do this i think we could kill this glide score off with pico not even having to worry about flipper coming in this is his fifth pokemon dang it we're, we hit the 30 minute mark already all right, hold, I'm going to try super speed through this then. Because I, I I think Pico got this. Pico has this in the bag. As long as he doesn't get the C word. Well, even if he does from this range, he shouldn't even kill us off yet. So I'm going to go for the third curse. And then next turn, I'm going to heal him up. Because I don't want to deal with uh, crit. Dang, he's eating those up like nothing now. I'm going to go for the fourth curse. I'm going for the fourth curse. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Screw you, Glide Score. You can only use freaking Earthquake and what's his weather move? Uh, Air Slash or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let us set up four curses. Tell me how I feel. Ask me how I feel. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got my act together too. Oh, you know what time it is now, fool. It's time for you to get swept after I use a Hyper Potion. <laughs> oh man, I have a feeling I should. I have a feeling I should heal up Bruce Lee while I'm at it right now. Cause I got I got turns for days. He's literally just have he literally has to use the rest of his earthquakes. And he's gonna kill himself <laughs> pretty much. Alright. Thank god he doesn't have Sky Uppercut, man. Otherwise we would have been so so screwed. But I'm gonna send I'm gonna heal up Bruce Lee just in case we need him for the last Pokemon, because you never know what he's gonna send out. Alright. So let's go for the strength now that now that I have my act together. Okay, let's see how much that does with four curses up. All right, I'm not afraid of your freaking earthquakes. Let's see how much the strength does. Four curses up. Can it kill the glide score? It does. Easy, man. Too easy. All right, who's up next? Who's the next victim? Show me the easiest thing to kill. Oh, Gastrodon. Not the easiest, but. I don't think Gastrodon has anything against me, to be honest. Against my Pico, actually. So it's a water ground type. His He is super effective against grass types. He resists rock, but ground is neutrally effective, so I can stay in and go for the earthquake. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Gastrodon literally has nothing against me except uh Earthquake. Or mud shot, something like that. I'm gonna go for the earthquake. Yeah, Earth Power. That's what it was. He's a spe he's a special attacker, but I I could live anything that this Gastron could use against me. Yeah, easily, easily. Pico finish up the job. Finish up the job, Pico, with that one earthquake. It should kill it off. Mm, let's go! Ah, let's go! Ah, <laughs> all right, there we go. Defeated the Sandstorm team. So we took out the Drought team, Water team, or Rain team, and then now the Sandstorm team. I don't think there's any more teams left any sort of build like that but that is a 20 minute mark though, or 30 minute and we went over the 30 minute mark actually so finally we have another episode for victory road i think because i don't think i don't know if we're done yet with this victory road i don't know how how much farther we have left so we'll find out next time so look forward to the next time hopefully we'll finish victory road and if we have time we can even uh 
start out the first Elite Four member. I don't know. I, f I really don't know where this victory road ends. But yeah, so look forward to that next time. But anyway, that'll be for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to peck up that like button down below and all that good stuff because your support is always greatly appreciated. And I'll go to see you in the next episode. But until then, stay safe, guys.